So let's begin sitting comfortably in that chair, but come forward towards the front edge of it so that you can ground your two feet evenly. If your bare feet are on the floor, do spread your toes or try to if you have shoes on and really get as much space between your feet as possible before you lower the weight of four corners of each foot into the earth, literally grounding. Now, if you're feeling like your mind is very busy or your body has been very active today, you can turn the palms of face down in your lap and just feeling more grounded. If you're feeling like you need to feel more energized and uplifted, you might turn the palms of face up. And then allow a moment to just close your eyes, let your body become still. Feel the way that your body is naturally breathing. Knowing that the breath changes with whatever emotion arises, what is the quality of your breath share with you about your inner state of being? Mentally, physically, emotionally. You might notice that the posture which you're sitting, whether facilitates or inhibits a deeper flow of breath. So make any adjustments you need to enhance the ability to breathe in a little deeper. Perhaps you broaden the collarbones a little wider. Maybe you take a moment to walk the shoulder heads down away from the neck, lifting through the crown of your head. And then explore that next inhalation. In your mind's eye, being curious to feel the route in which it travels, feel it pass through the throat, perhaps more in the chest, perhaps more in the belly. Just neutral observations. Feel the breath exit. Notice any subtle movement in your physical body. So what we're doing here is just becoming more present with the subtleties of what's here and now constantly. Mindfulness. Perhaps you close the eyes if they're not already. And I'd like to share just a little bit of a preview of the tools from yoga and mindfulness that can help us with change and adapting to the ever flowing river of life circumstances. One tool is the practice of equanimity and it's drawn from mindfulness and equanimity is that ability to stay grounded and centered amid changing circumstances. A wonderful mindfulness teacher and Buddhist monk named Titnat Han gives us a taste of equanimity when he says, letting go gives us freedom and freedom is the only condition for happiness. If in our heart, we still cling to anything, anger, anxiety, or possessions, we cannot be free. Something to chew on, perhaps it resonates with you. And now the second tool for adapting to change is grounding in daily self-care ritual. And what I mean about that is something that is meaningful to you, that helps you to connect to the best of you. It's a daily self-care ritual that aligns you to your personal values and thus helps you to practice integrity in your daily choices, like what you eat, when you eat, how long you sleep, or perhaps you get up in the morning and meditate for five minutes. We all have different ways to connect to our inner being letting go of the roles that we have to play in society, at work, or with families. But really just connecting to that purest sense of well-being that is inherent in all of us. We don't inhibit it. And now the third tool for adapting to change is practicing empathy, first and foremost with ourselves, and then filling that cup so that we can practice empathy with others. What is empathy? It's a kindness 
in which we allow space to process emotions rather than shun, repel, deny, suppress them. So that even in uncomfortable emotions, we can understand that every emotion is a messenger. Something sharing that we need to address something within ourselves. Maybe something vulnerable that just needs to be nurtured and heard and transmuted perhaps. And the ability to listen deeply for the needs behind emotions within ourselves or even physical tension in our bodies. Then we're able to see how others need the same and connect through this humanness, this universal. Fourth tool for adaptive change is developing your intuition or that connection to inner knowing as well as creativity. It's trusting the inner guidance that develops confidence, self-trust, and developing creativity which allows us to see beyond what's right in front of us and to grasp a deeper meaning, even behind difficult events. To expand our perspective and thus what we see can be possible for ourselves, our communities, our worlds. So without talking any more about that, let's integrate what this looks like in taking care of our bodies right now and connecting with our breaths. So take a moment as you just acknowledge why you're here, why you're investing this time for yourself. What inspires you to do that? You might clarify an intention or choose a quality you want to cultivate within you. Now setting your hands onto your stomach, we're gonna begin with a breathing technique, which is wonderful for relaxing the nervous system, as well as bringing more attention to subtle energy body. It's called three-part breath. So to prepare for it with your hands on your stomach, sitting tall towards the front edge of your chair, take a deep inhale into your belly, slowly expand it to full capacity, then hold the breath in just a moment, and then through your mouth, slowly whisper the breath out, feeling your belly softly hollow or draw in towards the spine. Hold the breath out and let's try that one more time. Inhale into the stomach, expanding, hold it in and savor that feeling of fullness. Then through your lips, exhale, let it all go and hold the breath out, savor the feeling of emptiness. Now relax to neutral breath and just place your hands onto your rib cage. Try to find your left and right walls of your ribs. And this time, inhale through the nose and fill up your side ribs. Hold the breath in and exhale through the mouth again. Slowly whisper, feel the change in the rib cage. Hold the breath out, still sitting tall. One more time into your side ribs, breathe in slowly. Hold the breath at the top. Notice if any tension arises, just notice. And then exhale through the mouth, whisper it all out. Hold it out. Now relax the breath and place your hands on your chest, right at the center. And as you breathe in, fill up your chest with the collarbones brought in, the sternum slightly rise. Hold the breath without tensing the shoulders. Through the mouth, whisper it out slowly. Hold it at the bottom. And again, inhale into your chest. Feel the lift, the expansion. Hold it in, observe how you feel and release all the way out through the mouth. Hold it out. Now again, relax to your natural breathing. And now here's the three-part breath. Place your left hand on your chest, place your right hand on your belly. And what I'm gonna do is we're, we'll inhale into the belly first, just one third. And then we'll inhale into the side ribs, another third. And we'll inhale into the chest, the last third, then hold the breath in. With the mouth closed, we'll exhale completely through the nose and hold the breath out. And that's one cycle. 
We'll do several cycles together and then a couple cycles on your own. So this time the mouth is closed and we're just breathing through the nose. You might like to close your eyes. So empty this breath, hold it out into your belly, breathe in one third. Into your side ribs, breathe in one third. Into your chest, breathe in one third. Holding the breath, relax and observe. Through the nose, exhale completely, slowly. Hold the breath out. Again, into the belly, inhale one third. Side ribs, one third. Chest, one third. Hold, observe. Exhale to your nose. Hold it out. One more together, into the belly, inhale. Side ribs, inhale. Chest, inhale. Hold it in. Exhale, let it all go. Now holding it out, try two more cycles on your own. with no rush. When you do finish holding the breath out, press your hands face down onto your lap. And now begin to cultivate a sustained equal inhale and exhale to your nose. Filling up all three parts as you breathe in, the belly, the side ribs, the chest, and exhaling just as slowly through the nose. You might add softly narrowing the back of your throat so that as you breathe, you create a gentle whispering sound. And that sound serves to anchor the mind. It's something rhythmic and balanced that you can align your attention to that's in the present, knowing the mind's tendency to jump around like a wild monkey into past and future. The style of breathing is called victorious breath. So see if you can tune into that sound through the majority of this practice from now. Now, as you sit towards the front edge of your chair, go ahead and turn out your legs from the hips to whatever capacity feels like a good balance, not straining, but there's a little bit of a stretch in the inner thighs. So you're in sort of a seated squat. You wanna make sure that the center of your kneecap is pointing in the same direction as the center toe below it, and you're still grounding firmly through both feet. Now, as you press your hands on the very tops of your thighs, encouraging them to splay open and to ground your two sitting bones, lift the spine a little taller and relax the shoulders. We're gonna to begin to sway the spine to the right. I'm gonna be your mirror here. As you breathe in and circle the spine forward, Sway the spine to the left as you breathe out and lean back. So we're just creating circles with a spine as though your pelvis was a bowl and your spine was a huge ladle and you're stirring soup in that bowl and then switch directions. Breathe in as you lean forward, circle to the other side. Breathe out as you lean back. Keep going. So this is a simple movement of rotating the spine at the pelvis, helping to warm up the hip area, the lower back area. Switch directions again, a few more rounds before we hold postures that will stretch the body. I like to add some dynamic movement first so that those held positions are more beneficially opening. Switch directions one more time keeping that steady sound rhythm as you breathe through your nose. Nice, and then from here, keep splaying the inner thighs apart, forming down through the hands, feet and pelvis. Lift the chest, relax the shoulders, take a deep breath in. 
Now at your waistline, just below the lowest ribs, begin to turn your chest to the left. Look over your left shoulder, and if you can, lean forward as you twist. Keep anchoring your left and right sitting bones onto that chair. Keep elongating the spine from the pelvis. And if you can, keep rotating your rib cage, imagining your rib cage as a glow, rotating along the axis of your spine. Two more breaths. Soften your shoulders downward, creating space in your neck. Take another deep inhale. Hollow your belly, twist a little more if you can as you exhale. So spinal twists are great for releasing tension along the back. And then come up to center, reground the left and right sides of the pelvis, press the hands into the inner thighs, keep splaying them, ground the feet, and then breathe length as though you could create more space with that breath between each vertebra of your spine up to your crown. Then at your waistline, twist to your right, lean the torso forward, keep the legs still, and where you are, breathe in, ground the pelvis some more, and elongate the spine from it. As you breathe out, just at your waistline, continue to twist so that you're rotating your rib cage in isolation of your pelvis, which stays balanced and grounded, supporting the lower back. Let's take two more deep breaths. Often in yoga, Spinal twists are referred to as ways of cleansing the digestive system, helping to stimulate flow. Inhale, look forward and rise up. All right, so from here, let's come up to stand. I know this is chair yoga, but I'd like you to face your chair. So I'm gonna put the chair this direction so I can still face you. Stand away from the chair about a foot, and we're gonna do a little movement that will just help to release the backside of the body and get some blood circulating. So we're gonna move to the breath. So stand with your feet apart, hips distance, parallel. Spread your toes, ground firmly through the four corners of each foot, energizing the legs. And turn your palms to face forward, down by your sides, relaxing the shoulders. Notice the natural space in your neck as you lift up through the center of your crown. As you breathe in, slowly raise the arms overhead, circling them out to the sides. Let your palms touch. Now pause here, keep breathing. If your shoulders start to shrug up towards the ears, you could reach the arms further forward, not so much overhead, to maintain that length in your neck. As you exhale next, trace your thumbs from the center between the eyebrows down to the heart center, down to the navel center. Let's try that again. Inhale, circle the arms up. Let the palms meet at the top of the breath. Exhale, trace your thumbs down the center line of your body. Adding on, inhale the arms up. This time, bend your knees and elongate your spine, reaching your hands onto that chair. Now, if you need something higher than the seat of the chair, you could turn the chair to face away from you and reach for the, the back, the taller portion. And now as you press into that, try to create the feeling of a flat back. So allow your sternum, the center of your chest, to elongate forward, your shoulder blades to slide down your back ribs, and have a little lift in the belly so it's not collapsing. You're supporting the lower back. You're firming the fronts of the thighs. Take another breath in here. And then exhale, maybe you fold a little deeper. Maybe you bend the knees a little bit more, stretching the lower back here. From down through your feet, inhale, sweep your arms all the way up, rising. Let the palms meet at the top of the breath. Exhale, trace your thumbs again down your center line. So let's try three rounds of that. It's called a half sun salutation modified with a chair. Inhale, circle the arms overhead, marrying movement to breath. Exhale, bend your knees, plant your hands in the chair, and fold with a flat back. Inhale, elongate the chest forward, still bending the knees, still lengthening the spine. Exhale, if you can, fold a little deeper from the hips. Bend the knees so there's no added tension in the back. Press down to the feet. Inhale, rise up to stand, circling the arms overhead. Watch your palms meet. Exhale, trace your thumbs down the center line of your body. All right, last time. Inhale, raise the arms overhead. 
Bend the knees, firm the belly, and exhale. Bow from your hips. Place your hands on the chair. Press into the chair and inhale. Lean your chest forward as if pressing your heart through the gates of your arms. Exhale if you can. Bow a little further, bending the knees as much as needed so there's no strain. From down through the feet, inhale. Circle the arms and rise tall. Relax the shoulders. Look up. Exhale, trace your thumbs down the center line of your body. Wonderful. So now let's sit onto that chair again, and we're gonna to start to open up the sacral area a little bit more. Uh, when we talk about yoga and energy centers, which I won't go into deeply, that area, th there's a channel of energy around here, um, which is linked to our ability to flow with change, our ability to tap into our creativity and to really find a sense of flow in our bodies as well. So as you sit towards the front edge of that chair, I'm going to be your mirror, turn out your left leg and or both legs. And so you're sitting sideways with your left glute mostly on the chair. The right glute is not so much on the chair. So if you need to hold on to the back of the chair with your left hand, you can. This is gonna be a supported lunge position. So that right leg is going to slide back. So the ball of your right foot is on the floor there. If you're really tall, maybe it's your right knee that's touching the floor. That's fine too. So we're in a lunge position, but we're sitting on the chair with the left glute mostly. Make sure your left knee is bent right on top of the heel. It's not over bending past the heel, so you're keeping your knee joint safe. And now bring your right hand to the right side of your lower back and gently encourage that right hip bone to shift a little more forward towards that left wall of the room you're facing. So you wanna have your left and right hip bones equally facing forward towards that left wall. Now firm down into that chair with your pelvis and lift up from lower spine to crown. Now soften your shoulders behind you and down. Breathe here. Now, if holding onto the chair with your left hand and holding onto your right lower back with your right hand is helpful to feel balanced and upright, keep your hands there. Otherwise, you might explore raising the right arm. And in so doing, still relaxing the shoulders letting the right outer upper arm rotate slightly forward so you broaden the space across the top of that shoulder. And then you continue to root down through the pelvis while lifting up. You're using that rooting down to actually help fill up space in the spine, to feel taller, to feel more confident in this posture. Now, if your right arm is lifted, begin to side stretch towards the back end of the chair. So now we're getting into the psoas. That muscle area from the front crease of the hip that crisscrosses into the lower back, often tense when you sit for long periods of time. So imagine where you might be feeling more sensation in your body right now. Imagine breathing into that area physically. Like your breath was a spotlight shining into that region that's calling your attention. And your breath is that language of empathy saying, I hear you, I feel you. I'm listening for what you need. In whatever position you're in now, take a deep inhale, close the lips, exhale, that's three. Inhale, relax the shoulders away from the neck. Exhale, that's two. One more deep breath. Exhale, slowly lift the spine upright if you're side bending. And let's turn to face forward again. Come back to neutral. All right, setting up for side two, turn both of your knees to face your right wall so that your right glute is mo more heavily on the chair. Your left glute might be hanging off of it, so you might use your right hand to hold on to the back of the chair to stay balanced. Now slide your left toes back, bending the left knee to face the floor. If you're really tall, Unlike me, you can rest your left knee on the ground, if that's helpful. Place your left hand onto the left side of your lower back and encourage, gently nudge that hip forward so that both of your hips are equally facing forward towards that right wall of your room. So you wanna imagine that bowl shape of your pelvis. You're trying to orient it upright, not tilting one side lower than the other. 
And now as you root the right glute downward into the chair, lift up. Imagine as you take a deep breath, you're filling up more space from in between each vertebra, from tailbone to neck. And as you exhale, is there any tension you're holding here? Just by concentrating, relax the shoulders, relax the face. Notice the difference in your experience when you smile. For no apparent reason, just smiling. And now, from here, if you can balance upright while raising the left arm, add that and rotate your left tricep. It's the outer side of your upper arm forward towards the side wall you're facing in order to broaden across the top of the left shoulder and then plug the left shoulder down. Now continue to lift up the spine as you breathe in. And if your left arm is raised, begin to side bend to your right, which is towards the back of your chair, just a little bit at a time. Keep rooting down, lifting the spine from the pelvis as you breathe in and then side bending further. Now notice, is there a part of your body speaking a little louder while you're holding this position? Imagine that spotlight that is your breath attending or listening deeply within to that part. Just giving it space to say what it needs to let you know. Inhale. Exhale, that's three. Inhale. Exhale, that's two. One more deep breath. Exhale, slowly lift the spine upright. Ah, all right. Let's come forward again on the chair. I'm gonna get more into the upper body. Let your arms just rest on your lap. As you breathe in, rotate your shoulders forward, then up. As you breathe out, exhale, draw them back and down. Keep going, inhale, shoulders forward and up. Exhale, back and down. Two more in this direction. Listening to that soft whisper as your breath glides past the back of your throat. Deep inhales, enlivening your lungs. How amazing it is to receive this breath without having to effort much. It's constantly gifted to you and with it comes the goodness of life force, prana or chi circulating throughout your body. Let's switch directions. Inhale the shoulders behind you and up. Exhale them forward and down. A few more. Inhale behind you and up. Exhale forward and down. Two more. And how we can use our breath in so many ways to feel empowered. When we're feeling stress or reactivity in a situation, we can take a pause and connect with deeper breaths to give us cushion, some space to really evaluate the situation. All right, so relax the shoulders down, bring your arms behind your back and interlace your fingers. Now this is where the strap might be handy. If you're feeling like you're, the fronts of the shoulders are resisting, your hands reaching each other, you can grab a strap or some object that you can hold between the hands so there's a little bit of space there. If you are interlacing your fingers, try to get the heels of your palms to hug. Now imagine you have a tennis ball and you're hugging it in between your elbows. So gently squeeze that tennis ball between your elbows, feel the broadening of your chest, and now wrap your arms over to your right side, towards your right hip. Now draw the shoulder blades down. If you're very back bendy, notice if the bottom of your front ribs start to protrude, which means you're overarching the lower back. Just hug in the front ribs, lift up taller to the spine, and find a little more space in the lower back as we hold here for a few breaths. Inhale, feel your collarbones widen like a bright smile just above your heart. Exhale, release the shoulder heads down. Feel the lightness in the tops of the shoulders, that trapezius muscle area. Keep breathing here, feel the length of the inhale match the length of the exhale. So that daily self-care ritual can be something like this, a few minutes in between computer work that you really commit to and do consistently. And it's the fact that you're committing to it and valuing your well-being on a daily basis. It can really build that self-trust, confidence, and alignment 
So release the arms, gently shake out the hands. Ah, maybe even shake out the shoulders and the head if that feels good and let it go. So now as you interlace the fingers behind you, try switching the cross of the thumb and index finger on top. It's probably the more awkward non-default way. Otherwise you're holding a strap. Bend your elbows close together like you're squeezing a tennis ball between them and wrap your arms over to your left side. Now slide both shoulder blades down your back, root your left and right sitting bones, the base of your pelvis, and lift up through the center of your spine. Feel your inhalations encourage expansion across the center of your chest. Your exhalations help to let go of anything you might have been carrying unnecessarily, whether it be a thought that is of no use to you now or tension in the body from reacting to something you read, whatever you might still be carrying that you no longer need, allow your exhalations to give you a sense of freedom, building your resilience, building your equanimity, the stability within you. Take one more breath. Exhale to let it go. All right, we're gonna do a little, what I like to call waterfall cleanse. So as you sit towards the front edge of your chair, firmly ground your feet, we're gonna inhale, imagine that you're at a river, a cool river, and you're scooping up the water so that you can bathe in it. We take a deep breath in here, and with an exhale, we take a wide side through the mouth and lean forward, letting it go. So inhale up and let it out. Keep going, inhale. Inhale. Two more, inhale. Feel the release of it. Last time. And come on up. So we're gonna focus a little more on the shoulders here, bending your elbows apart like the shape of a cactus. Then cross your right elbow over the left. And you can either choose to hug yourself, we're splaying the shoulder blades apart and stretching across the upper back. Or if you can, hook your thumbs in front of you. So there's a little tension as if you're trying to pull the arms apart, but you can't. Or go further from this and wrap your forearms and palms. This is called eagle arms. Then whatever you're choosing, let the shoulder heads rest down away from the neck. As you press the pelvis down, continue to lift up through the center of your spine. Feel that your jaw is relaxed, your tongue is relaxed. And now with your elbows at the same height of your shoulders, unless you're hugging yourself, that's different. Press your forearms gently forward away from your face. And picture breathing a little deeper into the backs of your lungs, especially right between the shoulder blades. So the area behind your heart, breathe into there. Fill up with that loving kindness. You're greeting your lungs. You're greeting the back of your body. And as you exhale through the nose, again, helping to release whatever is unnecessary you might've been carrying in that area of your body. Whether it began as thought or as an emotion and manifested as physical tension, whatever it is, breathe in. Breathe out. Let's take three more deep breaths. Can you allow your mind to ride the waves of your breath, feeling them rise and fall with ease and balance? On your next inhale, if you do have the eagle arms, not if you're hugging yourself, Lift the elbows a little higher, take a deep breath. And then spread your eagle wings, backstroke the arms and feel the chest wide open again and let it go. All right, so from here, recactus the elbows apart, bend the elbows apart and switch the opposite arm on top. Whoops, the left arm on top. <laughs> so either you're hugging yourself, broadening the shoulder blades apart that way or going a step further and hooking the thumbs, gently pulling them apart, the arms stay where they are, 
or a step further and wrapping your forearms and palms. Now, if you're doing the latter two variations, draw the shoulder blades down and lift your elbows to the height of your shoulders while pressing your forearms gently forward away from your face. Now visualize your back ribs. Feel their gentle expansion as you allow breath there. Feel the slow release as you exhale through the nose. Breathing in. Breathing out as though your breath could massage your body from the inside. Two more breaths here. Now, if you have the eagle arms variation, inhale, lift the elbows a little higher. And either way, open your arms wide and feel the big release as you exhale. Open up the chest, soften the shoulders back and down and let it go. All right, we're gonna take a little minute, literally a minute, I'm gonna set the timer. Whether you choose to stay seated or to stand, do this, to literally shake. Yeah, I'm not kidding. So you know that animals, when under pressure, after the flight or fight reaction, to reset their nervous system, they literally shake it out. They shake and then they're back to a calm, steady nervous system. So let's do that. I'm going to set the timer for one minute. And this is that intuitive, creative side where you just get to move any way you like. All right? So here we go. Setting the timer, whether you're sitting down, and start any way you like. If you're feeling conservative, maybe just shake your fingers and you start to shake your elbows. Or maybe you just need to let it out and just shake everything. Maybe you need to jump and just be careful <laughs> of what's around you. Moving the hips, so much tension can be carried there, emotionally, mentally, shaking the shoulders, shaking the head, shaking the torso, shaking the legs. <laughs> Get out of your mind and into your body and body shaking it out. <sighs> Maybe flutter the lips. Close your eyes if you're feeling self-conscious. <laughs> just feel it from within. Release, release, release. Whatever you don't need to hold on to. You're not a luggage for anybody's tension. Finding your freedom. And guess what? One minute is over. <laughs> All right. So come back to your seat. <sighs> Ground the two feet. And... I'm going to lead you through a different breath work. This breath work is wonderful for increasing the oxygen intake of your lungs, in case that shaking didn't do it for you yet. And it's wonderful in times that we're really more cautious about our respiratory health with this pandemic. It also, the effect afterwards is calming the mind. It really just helps you drop into a spaciousness mentally. It's called Bastrika. Pranayama, that's in Sanskrit, which translates to bellows breath. So we use the diaphragm, we breathe into the belly, expanding the lungs to full capacity, and we exhale, hollow the belly, and you're closing the lips, just breathing through the nose. I'm going to demonstrate because there's a physical action to it. And if the physical action doesn't work with you right now, if you've got shoulder issues, you can just leave your hands on your lap and do the breathing part by itself. We're going to bend the elbows apart if you're doing the physical action. The hands are like fists. Notice the shoulders stay relaxed, the spine is tall. And as you inhale through the nose, you raise the arms and spread the fingers wide. As you exhale through the nose, you re-bend the elbows and re-fist the hands. And it's rhythmic. Remember, it's not hyperventilating because the mouth is closed. You're just breathing through the nose. And eventually you might close your eyes and steady your gaze towards the spot right between the eyebrows. It just helps to concentrate, focus on a rhythm. So here's a quick demo. You're concentrating on fully expanding belly and lungs using the diaphragm with equal out breaths. 
So again, I'm gonna set the timer for one minute of this. If this is new to you, or it might feel weird, or you might get lightheaded, you can always pause and just return to deep breaths through the nose, conscious equal deep breaths, or take breaks and come back to it. So make it feasible for you. And if you're doing the arm work, begin by bending your elbows apart, create fists out of your hands, relax the shoulders, sit tall. I'm gonna set the timer for one minute, Bellows breath, ready, begin. seconds more. Now relax. Just breathe naturally for a moment. So closing the eyes, rest your hands in your lap. Sit tall and relax and just observe the effects of that practice. Feel the breath in naturally. Feel the breath out, whichever way it wants to come out to your mouth or through your nose, just let it be natural. You're now beginning to let go of effort. So you're sitting tall and feeling grounded. Take a mental scan of your body. Begin with your feet your souls. Just observe any sensations you might feel there or any points of contact with the ground or another object. Release any need to judge any of this good or bad, just simply be with the experience with neutral observation. Feel your ankles, feel your shin bones and the muscles around them begin to soften, release effort in the calves. Feel your knees, feel your thigh bones as you relax your quadriceps, the fronts of your thighs. Relax your hamstrings and the backs of your thighs. Now feel the weight of your pelvis and how it's supported by that chair. Consciously relax your glutes. Soften the left and right sides. Feel your stomach. Perhaps there's subtle movement with the breath. Let go of any holding there. Let the belly release, allowing space for your digestive organs. Trace your attention up your spine through its natural curves. Feel the muscles around your torso, sides of your waist. Relax. Back muscles soften. Now bring your mind's eye to your shoulder girdle. Feel the width of your collarbones. Feel your left shoulder descend away from your ear. Feel your right shoulder descend away from your ear. 
scanning your left arm as you feel any point of contact between that left arm and what it's resting on. Relax your left fingertips. Soften your left forearm. Feel the weight of your left elbow. Now bring your attention to your right arm. Feel what it's resting on. Relaxing your right fingertips. Ease in your right forearm. Notice the natural weight of your right elbow. Now bring your attention to your face. Feel your jaw from behind your ears to your chin. Unwind. Let your tongue soften. Feel your cheeks relax. Perhaps you notice a very subtle weight of your eyeballs as your eyelids close. Feel the space between your eyebrows soften and smoothen. Release any heaviness in your skull. Can you feel your scalp even unwind? Natural breath in, natural breath out. Just sit with it for one minute. The effects of your self-care practice today. Allow a deeper breath in. Feel enlivening your lungs. Exhale to the mouth. Listen to that breath. If your eyes are closed, softly blink them open. 